Today I want to show you how you can create something like that. A candlelight fire particular system, which will flicker a little bit and which we move around. So let's start. First of all, import a candlelight fire texture with a black background. You can easily find them on Google or anywhere else. Just download them and then import it. Then we have to create the material. So just right click a new material. And I will just explain you those nodes here. So first of all, you have to add a multiply node, which will connect with the emissive color. Then from the multiply node at A, you have to add another multiply, and at B, you have to add a constant vector with a value of 0.2. Because with this constant vector, you can control the shininess or the brightness of our candlelight fire. So for example, when I type in 10, and then apply, you just have to like wait a little bit. Then you can already see here, it's pretty shiny. And that's not what we want, but of course you can just adjust those values, but I would recommend your value from around 0.2. So just type in 0.2 again. And at this multiply down here, you have to add the texture sample to A and the particular color to B. Because it's the particular color, we will control the, the color from our candlelight fire in the particular system. Then down here, I've also added the rotator and the sign because to get this movement here. Okay, wait, to click on to apply first. So to get this movement of our candlelight fire. Of course, it doesn't look realistic when you're near the candlelight fire, but when you're a little bit far away, it looks pretty good. But of course, you can leave that part away. It will also look a little bit better when you just do it in a particular system. So either you add that or you just leave it out. But I will add it now. So just add a sign node, a normal one. So type in sign and then add it. And then a rotator. And connect the rotator with the sign. And the sign is the verb position offset. And here at the coordinate, you have to connect the texture sample. And in the rotator, just type in a value at x from around 0.3, then 0.25, and a speed of 1. That's it. That's the whole material. Now down here at the blend mode, you just have to choose additive and the lightning mode should be at unlit. And that's it. Now we've, cre now we've created the material for our particular system. Now let's go back to our particular system in here. Then we'll also just explain you every node in here. So first of all you need a spawn module. There you have to type in a spawn rate from, our, from around 25. Because with that rate you can, you can choose the flickerness of the candle. So for example when we type in 0.4 Oh no, that's a bad value. Let's say we will type in 8. Then we can already see here, it flickers. But as I said, here you can just play around a little bit. I would recommend a value from around 25. Then at the lifetime, you can also control the flickerness of the candle. So here just have to type in a min a value from around 1, and at max a value from around 1.25. And as I said, you can also control the flickerness of the candle. Then at the initial size, you can choose how big our, our candlelight fire should be. Then at size by life, we can choose the size over the life. So here we can also choose the flickerness of the whole candle. So the size by life will, will just create the candlelight fire particle, which will either get bigger over the, time, over the time, or which gets smaller over the time. In our case, it will get bigger over the time, as you can see here. It's a value of around 1, 0 0.3, 0 0.6, and 1. Then at light, we can generate this light around the particle here. here. Here we can also add some stuff. So when you click onto it, on the brightness, you have to, you have to, you can change the brightness of the light. So for example, when I put this to 38, it shouldn't be so bright anymore, as you can see here. Then at radius, you can choose the radius, so how, how far the radius of the light should be. I'm going to put this a little bit down. We won't have so big radius. Or you can also change the color of life, or up here the spawn fraction, which will also control the flickerness of the light. So not of the particular system, just of the light from the particular system. And here at the initial color you can change the star color and the start alpha. And at scale color over life, you can change the color, which will depend on the scale of the particular system and on the lifetime. So yeah, that's it. That's how to create such a particular system as you can see here. Thank you for watching and until next time.